Welcome to this Excel quickie here. I'm going to show you how to use a VBA to save an Excel file and overwrite any existing file without a prompt. So you're not going to get the little window that says file already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? And this is part of a larger course that I'm making for teachexcel.com. So stick around for that. There's so much more. This is just a tiny little part of it. So let's go to the VBA window and I'll show you how this is going to work. Alt F11 and let's go to insert module and let's just do a very nice little save macro and we are going to save this workbook and we're going to be doing this using save as so that we've got more options more control and for the first thing we're going to give it a little file name with the full file path and let's call it Bob Okay, and we're going to save it as a macro enabled file. So let's go ahead and choose the file format. Basically, you want to use 52 for macro workbooks and 51 for regular ones. Now, sometimes you don't need to specify the for file format, but you really should. It is a very good idea. And I cover that a lot more in the online course, of course. So let's leave it at 52 for macro enabled. And let's go ahead and run this macro once to save the workbook. Notice that book one up here is the default name right now. It's a new workbook, hasn't been saved yet. I will hit play to run the macro. And it is now bob.xlsm. So it's macro enabled workbook. Now let's try it again. It's already been saved once. I want to reuse this piece of code. I don't want to check if it's already been saved and use dot save. So I hit play. A file named ctest bob already exists in the location. Do you want to replace it? Yes, no, maybe so. All right. Well, I don't want that. So let us turn that off. Very, very simple. Application dot display alerts equals false. And application dot display alerts equals true run it again and we should see absolutely nothing perfect notice up here it'll say running while it's saving the file and then it's done so every time i hit this now it saves the file overwrites whatever is there and i get no little pop-up window asking me if i want to do this this is especially useful if you're going to give this macro to somebody else and have it do something without the user knowing exactly what's happening because if they see a pop-up window, they're going to get really confused, and it's just a very bad user experience. Now, of course, you need to be careful when you turn off display alerts and other things with applications such as automatic calculations, but I do cover that as well in the course in the error handling section and for the go-to tutorial. But as far as this tutorial is concerned, that's how you can write one simple little line, save as and have it save your file, overwrite any existing file if it's already there, and not show you that little prompt window asking you if you want to override it.